Welcome to Red Top 5 channel. Here are 5 of the most dangerous. So do not go anywhere and be with us. Hello and welcome to the Red Top 5 channel. Please subscribe us and if this video is interesting for you press the like button and leave your comments for us in the comments section. 5 of the scariest mental disorders. Imagine having a mental disorder that makes you feel your significant other is an imposter out to harm you, or that makes you believe books are for devouring, or even worse, that you've turned into the walking dead. What if one day you felt like yourself and the following day you saw someone different in the mirror? Unfortunately, for other people, these frightening sensations are a daily occurrence. Even though only a tiny number of people are compelled to live with the mental diseases outlined above, mental illness affects 450 million people globally. One in, in four households in the United States is affected. Experts feel that mental illness is a true pandemic and that the United States need immediate action. Number 5. Coder Delusion The Walking Dead and other aspects of the current zombie craze have a large following, but then there's Coder Delusion. The patient of this terrifying mental disease believes they are the walking dead, literally, or a ghost, and that their body is deteriorating and or they have lost all blood and internal organs. The sensation of having a decaying body is common in coded delusion patients, and it's no wonder that many of them suffer from severe sadness or manic depression. Sufferers may starve themselves to death as a result of their delusions. Codard's delusion was initially reported in 1880 by neurologist Jules Codard, although it has happily proven to be exceedingly rare. Number 4. Kluver Busey Syndrome Consider wanting to have sex with a car or needing the flavor of a book. Kluver Busey Syndrome is a frightening mental condition marked by memory loss, a desire to consume inedible things, and sexual attraction to inanimate objects such as vehicles. Kluver Busey syndrome patients frequently have difficulty identifying items or individuals who should be familiar. This terrible mental condition is difficult to identify and appears to be caused by a severe temporal lobe damage. Kluver Busey syndrome has no known treatment, and victims are frequently impacted for the remainder of their lives. They may have significant difficulties in their personal relationships, careers, and other aspects of their lives. Number 3. Paris Syndrome Paris Syndrome is an unusual transient mental illness that leads visitors to get fully overwhelmed when in Paris. It appears to be the most prevalent among Japanese travelers. The intense fear, depersonalization, derealization, persecutory notions, hallucinations, and severe delusions that define Paris Syndrome affect 1 to 2 million Japanese travelers to Paris each year. Doctors have no idea what causes this uncommon illness. Because most persons who experience Paris syndrome do not have a history of mental illness, the main theory is that the language barrier, physical and mental tiredness, and the reality of Paris as opposed to the idealized depiction induce this frightening neurological ailment. Number 2. Reduplicative Amnesia Reduplicative amnesia is similar to Capgras syndrome, except that instead of believing in duplicates, patients with reduplicative amnesia believe in duplicate locations. This delusion can take various forms, but it always involves the patient believing that a location exists in two places at the same time. In 1903, physician Arnold Pick used the phrase reduplicative amnesia to characterize a patient with Alzheimer's disease. It's more common in people with malignancies, dementia, brain damage, or other psychiatric illnesses nowadays. Number 1. Stendhal Syndrome Stendhal Syndrome is a psychosomatic disorder that appears to be just transient. When a person is exposed to a huge amount of art in one spot, or in other circumstances defined by intense beauty, the condition develops. Sudden fast pulse, intense anxiety, bewilderment, dizziness, and even hallucinations are common symptoms of this strange yet frightening mental disease. Stendhal syndrome was named after a 19th-century French novelist who detailed his experience after visiting Florence in 1817. Stendhal syndrome patients may or may not have a history of mental illness or problems. However, those with anxiety problems or other mood disorders are more likely to experience it. Thank you for being with us until the end of this video. If you like this video, please like it and press the subscribe button to support us. Also send us your comments and suggestions in the comments section or via email. 
We are happy to be able to improve the quality of our work according to your comments and suggestions. Goodbye.